Hi everyone, this is Sin and welcome back to Stampin' Munchkins. Today I'm making four cards using stencils and this is a craft uh, collaboration with my dear friend Kathy Aranzana. I will link her video in my description below so make sure you go check out her video as well. These are all the products I'm using and I will be using more. Everything will be linked below. This is one tip that I have used and I use a Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue since I don't have Pixie Spray and I use that on the back of my stencil so that it will um, be sticky. It's like a post-it note. The first stencil I'm using is from Concord and Ninth and I'm using Sprout and Grapefruit ink pads from Concord and Ninth which I love and it has these leaves and you can rotate them and you will get um, a set of four or you can just do two, whichever you want. But I'll be using all four and just those two um, ink colors. So just rotate it the third time and I'm going to rotate it one more time to get the fourth leaf. And I wrote, I um, did first the green then the orange, and vice versa. Now I'm putting my EK Success Powder Tool. You can see it has three, this second stencil has three little holes, and I'm putting that in the middle of the X, and using my Versamark and ink blending tool, I'll be using a Lawn Fawn Rose Gold Embossing Powder, because I wanted just a slight hint of uh, glisten and shine and I hope you can see it in this shot here and that's one background done. Second one I'm using the Altenew stencil. Again everything will be linked below for your easy shopping and I'm using three inks this time. I'm using Grapefruit, Sprout and I added Aqua Sky and using the blending tools again I'm just adding the three color to this and that's my third, uh, second background and there's a little bit of ink left on there so I'm just wetting it with water and I'm putting a fresh four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock and I lifted the color out. Now I'm using the stencil from Altenew with the Tombow um, as to make it sticky and I'm using my VersaFine Nocturne Clear ink to make black stripes. And here's the reveal. See how crisp it is? And that was the third background. And this is the background that I had with the soft colors with the water pickup. And I'm adding the Glitz Iridescent Glitter Gel from Gina K. And I'm just putting that down with a metal, um, well, I call it a spatula, <laughs> but a palette knife. And um, it's just like you're frosting a cake. So I got a thin layer onto that and I set it aside to dry. And I went ahead and cleaned it up right away under running water in my sink. So here are the four backgrounds that I got from using stencils. I hope um, you like them and we'll be making cards, finished cards. I'm not sure which is my favorite. I think I like all of them. I don't use stencils hardly enough, so hopefully I'll get to do it. Now I'm using the Concord and Ninth um, cardstock, and the colors I used were flashed on the screen. And I was going to make a bigger um, frame using my A2 layers die, but I went smaller. So I cut three of the Hello. Um, in the sorbet cardstock and I'll be layering them up and then the shadow is cut out of evergreen. I was having a little difficulty so I put it on the evergreen shadow die and I love how it all coordinates. So I'm going to stamp friend from the Concord and Ninth Laurel frame stamp set and I'm using Versamark 
And I'll also be um, embossing it with the Lawn Fawn um, Rose Gold embossing powder. And I'll heat that off screen using my Wagner tool. I wanted it to pop up a little more, so I'm putting it on my um, on the sorbet, and I just cut it using my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer, and I'm just putting it onto the small panel using um, the Tombow Mono adhesive. That's the only glue I'm using the whole time, and I wanted it to pop a little more off the white card base, so I cut the evergreen one size bigger. And I'm going to layer it on that the evergreen and then I'll put it on the card base which is my Nina 110 pound classic crest solar white and I'm using my Teflon bone folder and scoring it at five and a half using my score buddy and one card finished I apologize that this is a little longer video so now I'm using the laurel frame leaves and I'm using sprout and parsley for the leaves and for the flower portion which um, fits right inside I'm using grapefruit and sorbet so these um, cards all have the same coordinating colors and the, um, I did condition the stamp as you can see I rubbed my fingers and thumb over it so that um, I get off any residual um, because I never used these stamps before it has uh, maybe some of the processing um, oils so it makes it stamp a lot better but using these inks because it has that firm foam pad and not a felt pad it does um, stamp really nicely so again I'm conditioning it for the first solid layer, I'm using the lighter um, ink pad. So the flower was grapefruit. And then the second layer, I'm using sorbet. And then for the leaf, I used sprout for the first layer and parsley for the second. And I cut it out using my coordinating die. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to use the graphite color or the gold from the Concord and Ninth glitter pack. Um, paper pack but I decided on the gold it's so shiny I love that um, gold paper so now I am um, stamping the image from the hello and hugs stamp set from Altenew and I'm using the grapefruit and it says awesome friend and I'm going to be layering the two white um, hello layer onto the gold so it has a little dimension and again this will be I didn't um, I left the black striped full size so um, I'll be using that as the layer so putting that down onto the card base which is always the same the Nina 110 pound solar white classic crest and I'm just gluing everything down and that's the second card done. So the third card, the one with all the glitter, I'm going to be using this little girl. I love this stamp set. She's so beautiful. And I'll be embossing her. So I'm using my VersaFine Onyx. Not, not, I'm sorry, not Onyx. I'm using the um, VersaFine Nocturne Clear. And I have this embossing powder, Sparkle. I'm not sure um, where it's from. I've had it forever. But I wanted everything to be all shiny on this card. So I'm going to be embossing her. And you'll see in a second how beautiful and iridescent and shiny she is. And I'll be cutting her out using the coordinating die. There's other elements to her, but I wanted to keep it simple. So she is it. And I'll be using the same A2 layer die to make the layer shorter smaller and I'm using the grapefruit to um, I think it's grapefruit I don't know I had it on the screen to um, color a strip of paper which I could have used the cardstock but I want to see how this I'm, I'm testing out the ink pads so I want to see how this would look and it's not even um, but it's okay it works out 
I tested it out to make sure it, it was dry and I'll be stamping the hello onto this um, strip after adding the powder tool. Sorry for my head, I want to make sure it was straight. And I'm using the white Unicorn Hero Arts pigment and I'm using the Alabaster White embossing powder and I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Banner to cut it out. So I'm adding a lot of glue as she's going to be popped onto a, or glued onto a um, heavily glittered cardstock. So I want to make sure it has a nice and good contact. Now I'm going, the base will be Sorbet cardstock from Concord and Ninth. And I like how everything just coordinates again, all four cards. And this is a simple card and just popped up, not popped up, flat. Now for this one, I'll be using the Altenu alphabet die and I'm just going to be cutting out U from the panel itself. And I'll also be cutting out the U on white fun foam here. And I put tape on the back so that it would stay inside because it's so much easier to glue the letters onto here when the fun foam is not loose. So I'll be adding the glue and then I'll be adding the cut out. And while it's, um, and make sure you keep the inside of the O. And I, this is a waffle flower set and it says live life colorfully. So I wanted to use this because it's just like a paint splatter. So that's us creative folks. I'm going to be sending this to my, one of my crafty friends. And I'm just stamping that in black. Live life colorfully. I love it. And I'm going to be, I just stopped, chopped off the top and bottom, but the sides will be all the way to the um, edges. And I'm adding a quarter inch strip of the, I believe it's sorbet, but it, it'll be on there. But I'm adding the YOU, which is popped up a little using that foam. Make sure that it the O is um, put together correctly because you can see the green splatter on the top left. And now I'm sticking the inside of the O so that it's seamless. But it just has a subtle pop. And here's where I add the strip of cardstock. Again, the Concord and Ninth um, color collection is amazing because it just all coordinates so nicely together. And I cut off the sides. And these are all four cards. I hope you enjoyed. They're clean and simple, but I really enjoyed using the stencils. And I had so much fun. Again, please go check out Kathy's video. It will be in my description below. I'm not sure which is my favorite. Which one do you like the best? I will be sending these off to a few of my crafty friends. And I hope you enjoy these close-up pictures. I just love this girl. She's so cute. And I really want to make friendship cards. I don't know. I love them all. And now here's some uh, of the cards in my yard. It was a nice day in front of my banana tree. Really, really love them all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Here's a video and a playlist that you might enjoy. And as always, click on my face to subscribe. I hope you enjoy it again. And thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Bye.